Hey there, everybody. This is Brian Ewald here, and I'm at the PRS factory in Maryland. And today we're going to have a look at and listen to the variety of sounds that you can get using the coil split system on the S2 guitars made here in Maryland. To start off with, I'd like to go through just a bit of the history of pickups and coil splits versus coil taps. Um, as most of you know, you know, the original pickups were all single coil designs. It wasn't until the mid-50s that the humbucking design came out uh, to to get rid of hum, but of course what it also did was created a very different sounding pickup. And to this day, most electric guitar pickups are based off of those early designs of a single coil or a humbucking style. Uh, one is neither better than the other, they're just two very different sounds. Um, and later into the 70s and definitely into the 80s, many people started modifying their guitars, taking single coil guitars and throwing a humbucker in for some variety or using some sort of coil split in their humbucker guitars to get single coil style tones. Paul Reed Smith has always been a proponent of, of trying to get as many of those sounds out of one guitar. Even in the very beginning of his factory in 1985, the very first guitars coming out had a rotary switch that you were able to achieve both single coil sounds, humbucking sounds, and combinations therein. And over the years, even though it was later replaced by the five-way blade switch, most of the guitars in the PRS lineup have some sort of way to achieve both humbucking and single coil sounds. What we're going to talk about today are the coil split sounds, which you'll find on uh, most, if not all, of the S2 guitars built here in Maryland. So the first guitar that we're going to have a look at today is this S2 Custom 24, which has the 8515S pickups in it with three-way blade switch and a push-pull on the tone to split each of these pickups into single coils. So as we go through and listen to the sounds, uh, I'll kind of talk about how I would use them. I can bring a single guitar to a gig and, and really achieve anything I need, uh, regardless kind of of the genre. Uh, same thing in the studio. Not everybody has a, a room full of guitars to be able to, to grab from. So having one guitar that kind of can achieve both of those sounds is, uh, I think, a huge benefit. Um, so to start off, we're going to listen to this clean, and I'll play through some examples where you can hear them side by side. So here we are on the bridge pickup, the amp is set clean. And hearing it as a humbucker, straight to a single. Right away you can hear there's less mid-range, less low mids. Uh, the, the high end sounds a little sparklier as, as a single coil. I find in the studio and working... Um, on tracks, I use a single coil bridge sound all the time. I feel like it really cuts through a lot of the music that I play really well. It doesn't get too muddy and full in the low end, which tends to be EQ'd out by a mix engineer, um, but it has enough jangle and sparkle. Now listening to the neck pickup clean, both as a humbucker. as a single coil. Obviously there's a big tonal difference there. I find when I'm in the humbucker mode, especially clean, uh, I have to play a lot more delicately, otherwise it can get a little too barky in big heavy strums, but in a single coil mode you can really dig in if you're playing something where you have to be really percussive. me that the single coil sounds tend to really fit themselves better without being too punchy and barky if you're hitting the guitar hard. Okay, now we're going to have a listen to the S2 Vela, completely different sounding guitar uh, with a bridge humbucker that is also splittable into a single coil. The neck pickup on this one is single coil as is, so this obviously doesn't affect it. So one thing I want to point out is how the amount of gain that you use um, really affects the way you hear the difference between single coils and humbuckers, both in a coil split or, or just the sound of different pickups in general. Uh, the more gain that you add um, up to a certain point, in my opinion, kind of accentuates the differences, but then once you get to a point where you're adding a certain amount of gain, it actually kind of levels out the differences. The more gain you add, the tonality of the pickups becomes kind of homogenized. So like lots and lots of gain, two different pickups sound similar. Uh, so I'll show what I mean. So here it is completely clean, bridge pickup as a humbucker. And as a single coil. 
very clear difference in sound. Here it is with a lower gain. Again, a very clear difference. Here it is with a bit more gain. The differences there are not nearly as clear. Uh, the gain itself is acting as a compressor uh, and kind of leveling out a lot of the differences of the things that are going into it. Um, the one thing you will notice, the more gain you use, is that also things like the noise floor, the 60 cycle hum that you get with a single coil, is also brought up. So often people will use the humbucking sounds. If you're a single coil player, primarily a guitar like this is fantastic. I leave my Vela very often with the bridge pickup in single coil mode and as a three single coil sounds. But as soon as I go into a, a place where I need lots of gain, especially if the power is not really clean uh, and I kick on a lot of gain and you're getting some of that sound, you can switch into the humbucking mode on this guitar and not only does it kind of act as a little bit of a boost, but it also will clean up if you're in a, in a very noisy room, if it has noisy power. So that's another benefit if you're a single coil player but have a humbucking option on your guitar uh, really helps. And the last thing I'll quickly demonstrate is being able to get a, a wider variety of sounds with a lot of gain on uh, without even switching pickups, just staying on one pickup but utilizing the, the split function. So here with the coil split engaged and I've got the volume rolled way back. Got a nice clean with a little bit of breakup. But if I roll the volume all the way up, you can hear I've got quite a bit of gain on. Uh, it would not be able to clean up nearly that well if I just rolled the humbucker back. Uh, rolling it back and engaging the coil split, I can get a wider variety from my clean to heavy gain uh, without stepping on a pedal or changing amp channels or anything. Uh, just really adds to, to the level of uh, textures and versatility that you can get out of one instrument. If you'd like to learn more about any of the other guitars in the S2 line and check out what they have to offer as far as pickup combinations and coil splitting, check out prsguitars.com and thanks for watching. Heavy duty, heavy duty rock and roll.